Hi, it's Carrie Lutz, and it's time for another Triple Lutz Report. This is episode 193, and it's June 7th, 2012. We're back, and I haven't been doing many sessions this week because I've been at Blog World in New York City, and it's really been a phenomenal experience. I haven't been to one before, but I guess I kind of qualify as a blogger. You know, we've got the blog up, we're doing podcasting little different in that we actually do a terrestrial radio show and we're also in YouTube and it's in the Javits Center in Manhattan it's been like I say crazy week a lot of young people you know I'm 54 I am one of the elder statesmen of blogging if you will most of the people there seem to be in their 20s and 30s the other really interesting thing is that it's mostly female. It seems like it's around 60% female, 40% male, which to me is no problem. I like to hear the female voice on a variety of topics because women often have different perspectives on things, on events than men. You know, we're just wired differently in case you hadn't noticed. What's really good though is is that these are younger people, they're engaged. For the most part, they're following their passions. Very few of them started in this space, started doing a blog or a podcast or whatever to get wealthy. Most of them are simply like yours truly, following a passion, and they just started doing it. And that's the most important thing. If you're interested in being part of the new media, of getting your views out, of getting other people's views out, it's so simple to just start doing it. Whether you're writing or doing audio or doing video, whatever you have a talent for, just do it. If you want to monetize it at some point, you'll be able to do it. You know, that's what I'm in the process of doing now. I'm not going to make this show a billboard. I'm not going to clutter it with ads like you've heard other people's shows, but we need to pay to turn on the lights. That's not why I'm uh, talking about this. It's just great to see the younger generation really out there, engaged. And another amazing thing is I brought with me a couple of silver coins and I passed them around a table. I said, what do you think this is worth? And not one of them, and there were 15 people around this table, not one of them had a clue what the current price of silver was or the current price of gold if that's not a screaming contrarian buy signal, I don't know what is. But I didn't go there to do that. I really wanted to help wake them up. But the real reason for this Triple Lutz report is the passing of Bob Chapman. You know, Bob, he lived a full life. He really helped so many people. I consider him to be a mentor. And one of our listeners, one of you out there uh, by the name of Ed Kachia, he wrote me a really touching email about Bob. Um, he was stunned to hear of his death, even though he suspected it for quite a while, but he summed it up quite well. He said, Bob carried me on the forecaster free of charge for a year while I was unemployed. Bob and I were email buddies. The very first time I heard the big change in his hearty, mildly Boston-accented voice, my heart literally sunk. I feared, and I knew. In my relationship with Bob, it started about two and a half years ago. We, too, became email buddies. I heard him regularly on Gold Seek Radio, Chris Waltzek, and heard his prognostications. He graciously took listener questions, and no matter how off-topic they were, no matter how uninformed they might have been, he always answered them with a smile and it was just a wonderful thing and I started emailing him and Chris and in large measure I got into broadcasting because of their encouragement because of their openness and their lack of any hesitation to connect with me on a very personal level and we talked about markets we talked about societal trends and when I finally got into radio and I started doing the shows that I wanted to do, because many of you might know I did real estate radio first, consulted to a mortgage bank. It was really ungratifying. I didn't really get the full 
measure. I didn't feel like I was helping people or informing people at that point. And I just, just didn't do it. But then I interviewed Bob for the first time and it clicked. I knew that I wanted to be on the radio, that I wanted to connect with you out there, that I wanted to try to help you and try to make you aware of what I believe to be the major trends, patterns, potential pitfalls, pratfalls, and disasters that are coming at you. From that point on, basically from June of last year, this is what I've devoted myself to is helping you. And that's why Bob was such a great person because since I knew him, he was all about helping you. He just was so generous with his time. Whenever I wanted to do an interview with him, he was available. A few months back, he cut back on most of his interviews, but he kept his interview time with me and he knew what was happening. He didn't share it with me at the time, but he knew exactly where it was headed, that the situation was pretty hopeless, but he kept his humor. And it wasn't until the past month, the last two interviews that I did with him, that it really started coming out that he changed, you know, his personality changed. And one of the major symptoms of a serious illness or ailment coming on is a change in personality. And he wasn't as engaging. I had to pretty much carry both sides of the conversation. I went home, I said to my wife, there's something really serious wrong with Bob and I'm really concerned about it, but it's a family matter. It's personal. He hasn't shared it with me. So I don't really feel able to talk to him about it. And it's obvious his family knows about it. Then things started getting worse. I knew I got an email that, that he was gravely ill and we all know what happened next. So, so Bob, you will be missed. You were a friend, a mentor, early supporter, and you were so much more. You were an inspiration to me. You helped build this show and put it where it is today. And you'll always be here in spirit. You did so much for so many people. So much of it was done anonymously without you ever taking credit. And how many of you out there invested in medals because of what Bob said, because of the advice that he so generously gave? He helped prepare thousands of you around the globe for the coming financial tsunami. And that might very well be his biggest contribution so, Bob, thanks again, buddy. Rest in peace. Let's see a massive rally in gold and silver to commemorate this giant of a man. This is Kerry Lutz. Been another Triple Lutz Report, signing off. <laughs>